business success depends on flexibility. And that means not being constrained by rigid packaged applications. You need the flexibility to change and flex your systems as your business changes. And that's what Phoenix gives you, letting you run your business the way you want to. In this short video, I'm going to show you how a finished application can look. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to either change an application or create one from scratch. So let's go ahead and sign into Phoenix. And I'm going to select an existing application called CRM. We actually use this one as the basis for the training videos that are loaded up on YouTube and we provide it free of charge for you to use, develop and enhance. It's what we call a framework application or FRAP. There are a number of them on our website for you to download. Now it's going to ask for a name and password as you would expect. There's great security over your data. So let's sign in. And now we see the first menu for this user. Different users can of course be presented with different menus, options and indeed different capabilities to view and change data depending on their security profile. OK, this is a simple CRM application with organisation, opportunities, actions and people. It also lets us categorise opportunities and organisations by market sectors and because from Phoenix we can easily output email addresses, we can segment our marketing activity using these market sectors. So let's look at the people form and we can step through the records one at a time or we can look at them in table view very much like a spreadsheet we can of course sort the data either in ascending or descending order here we are sorting it in ascending order now supposing we want to find a specific record or specific set of records then we can search using wildcards so here let's search for all those that begin with JO and of course these search criteria can be placed across multiple fields at one time so very quick to find the data that we're looking for so, okay so it's easy to find information in Phoenix but let's look this time at the organization form and we're going to do that through what's called an aspect now aspects give us the opportunity to automatically apply filters sorts and we can also include data from extra files here we see the data on the individual organizations and at the bottom we have this tab structure where we are showing for each organization the people the opportunities the market sectors and the actions that are outstanding on them and it's really easy to enter new information let's enter a new action for this client the green fields are showing us where we can look up information from another form which means that data is accurate quick to enter and then easy to find so let's allocate this action to Jeroy so we look up the team member what is the action uh, it's to call again the date to be due done by is then the action type is a lookup and it's a phone call and who have we got to actually be calling in the client we need to be calling Lisa Gray so very quick very easy to use if we save that that record is now stored away so we've looked at using an existing Phoenix application but how do we enhance this or even start one from scratch well let's just go and do it we will close this application and we're brought back to the sign in box and we're going to create a new application so the scenario we're going to build or work with is that we are building a system for a company with a fleet of vehicles who use different mechanics to service those vehicles we'll decide where on our hard disk we're going to store this or on the network drive we're going to give it a name and we'll use a style sheet called the simple style sheet and of course it's looking for the initial username and password which I will leave blank now you're probably about to ask can I access this application over the web and the answer is of course yes there are two ways of doing this either by using RDP or by publishing forms aspects and reports to a web server we've recorded a video showing someone accessing a Phoenix application using an iPad over the net it's up on YouTube go and have a look when we finish this video okay so here's the catalog catalog which is of course completely empty as it's a brand new application now this system is going to manage the servicing of vehicles so we're going to need three forms to start with one for the vehicles one for the mechanics and one for the actual service records let's start by creating a form for the vehicles 
So we'll give it a name. And here we are in design mode. So let's pick the text object from the palette. And we'll call this the vehicle form. Now wouldn't it be nice if that was actually looked a bit more like a title? So we'll make it a title. Now what data do we need? Well we're going to need a registration number or license plate number. which we'll make as text 10. It's automatically defaulted to text. We're saying it's 10 characters long. And we're just going to make it unique because obviously you wouldn't have two vehicles with the same registration or license plate number. Let's also have a make and model. And let's have, for example, um, a date purchased. When did we acquire this vehicle? Which would be a date field. Excellent. So we've built our form. Let's go and enter some data into it. So we've saved it. We'll now go into runtime and we'll actually do this in table view. So the first one is PX53 TOA. It's a Ford Mon Deo, and we acquired it 010311. The second registration number is FY59YHJ. That's a Volvo, and that was acquired 0110211. Excellent. So, save the data, and let's close that form. We've created our first form. We've entered some data very quickly and easily. No technical knowledge required. And you can probably see now why Phoenix is chosen by quite so many people to help them run their businesses. Now let's go and create that second form, which is mechanics. Call it mechanics. And let's perhaps have their phone number on here as well. Save it. Let's go and enter a couple of records. So the first one is called London Servicing 02089798989. And the second one is called All Makes Mechanics. And the phone number is 0789989. Excellent. So we've now got our mechanics. Now, we now need to go and create that third form, the services form. Give it a name. We will give it a title. And we want the vehicle registration number. We need the mechanic that serviced it because in here we're going to store the details of each of the individual services. We want a service date, which of course would be a date field. We probably want a cost. Which would be a currency field. And we probably also want to record the mileage of the vehicle, which would be a number field. Excellent. So let's save that. 
So now as we look at the catalog, we can see the three forms all created. What we now just need to do is relate those two forms to get those three forms together. We need to relate mechanics to services and we need to relate vehicles to services. So very simple. We go into application relationships and we want to say there is a relationship between services and mechanics and that's when the mechanic is the same as the mechanic. And secondly, we want to create a relationship between services and vehicles. And that's when the registration number is the same as the registration. That's the relationships done. So now let's go and use the services form. So let's go into services. And we can, although I haven't created them as green fields, we've still got this lookup capability. So we want to look up the vehicle. And pick it from the list we'll have the we'll service the Volvo we can look up the mechanic and it was serviced by all makes mechanics it was serviced on the 1st of June 2012 at a cost of 300 pounds and the mileage was three four five six seven at that point in time save it and let's just put in a second uh, service as well for this same vehicle again for the Volvo this time it was serviced by London servicing and it was serviced on the 10th of the 8th 2012 at a cost of 400 pounds and the mileage was 43,000 43, save it now What we've done is we've built three forms, we've built the relationships, and we've used it. But if you remember back to when we were looking at the CRM application, we were looking at tabs and we were able to show that related data underneath. This is what's called um, tabs and sometimes called subforms. Now, what we're going to do is go and create a subform. We're going to create it on the, on the form called vehicles. We're going to go into design mode and we're going to select the subform object off the palette bar and we're going to place it here. The related form we want to display is services. Now there's lots of things one can do. I'm just going to accept the defaults. I'm going to save it and go into runtime mode and then as we look at the individual vehicles we can see all of the appropriate related data from that uh, other form displayed for us. So how could you use subforms? Well, in this case, obviously, we've created a subform of services against vehicles. We could also create a subform here in this application of subform of services against mechanics. But in your application, it could be patients and appointments. It could be customers and orders, contracts and callouts, donors and donations, clients, policies, suppliers and deliveries. The list is pretty much endless. And of course, you can even nest subforms. So in this instance, you could have vehicles with services and then nested within that the parts that have been used, as an example. So in just a few minutes, you've seen what a Phoenix application looks like and we've built a new application from scratch, all quickly and easily. So for you, this means you don't have to rely on rigid, pre-built applications from someone who doesn't know your business. You can have a system that works the way you do, quickly and easily. So, please, go onto our website now, which is www.phoenixffenics.com, download a trial copy of Phoenix, and have a look at the FRAPs, the Framework Applications. They're there for you to use, free of charge.